Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are let's play Dragon Quest IX. In the last episode, we found out Jonah went missing in the Twill Cave with the uh, mayor, so here we are. And uh, these guys aren't new, but I'm going to show them off. Krabbids. Maybe you haven't fought them yet. On the beach, near Coughing Well. These guys got some high defense. You can steal some nice stuff from them. Use the old war cry half inch method. I like that. But you have to be on a high enough level. That's the only thing. You can totally intimidate them if you're on a high enough level. Ooh, we get a set of iron kneecaps. We already have them. What the hell? Oh well. Yeah, and you can make those Giga steel kneecaps by making them uh, steel kneecaps and then whatever else. Alright, let's see. Do I want to go up or down? Up or down? Up or down? We're going to go down. I've made a wise decision. Treasure! Ultramarine Mittens! Let's see. They bring up your deafness a lot. Alright. Then let's give it to her. Oh, look at that. Now look at her hand, her gloves. They're cool looking. That's right, she's cool. She's a little she's literally slime woman. Because she's got a head of a slime. And uh, that's about it. Uh let's go this way. Yeah, I'll fight those guys later. I'm sure there'll be plenty of them. Go in here and grab this treasure. You get another mini metal. Holy moly, let's fight this guy. Big purple guy, a more toad. Now this guy can do an attack. I think they can hit uh, your whole group. And there we go, yeah. And nice. I like having guy to steal stuff on at least weapons, because you can't really make so many right now. You don't really have the ability to, like, I'm not waiting all day to farm, I don't like using that term, but, yeah, farm for those items. So I'm like, screw it. You know, I'll just do it when, you know, as I go. Eventually I'll be able to, here's a new enemy. Man of War! And these guys can paralyze you. Yeah, it's like every time I show a new enemy, it's only one. But yeah, I'm not going to sit around and just wait for all those items to regenerate. Like I mentioned, eventually you will be able to steal them from enemies, and if you want... And if you really want to do a lot of alchemy in this game, you're gonna have to steal from enemies. That's like... The only way. Because you can't find all these... Well, you probably... Yeah, I'm showing this battle, but... Because I'm explaining something. Anyways, uh, yeah, you can't, you can't just find stuff, like, not everything you can find lying on the ground in the world. And then you can find a lot, and it's just gonna take for, forever, and then by that time, the equipment that you want will be totally obsolete. That's one problem with this game, I find, like, they make the, was I right here? No, no, I wasn't, but I need to come over here. Alright, Seed of Agility. Yeah, so, you know, it's just... It's just kind of dumb. Oh, here's another new enemy. This guy is a Samarauder. Salmarauder. Haha. Because already, after every... Basically, after every little quote-unquote storyline, I plan on just coming back to old areas and stealing from enemies like no one's business. Especially since I have four thieves, it makes it a little easier, or four people who can use the thief ability. It makes it a tiny bit easier to get various things from the enemies now. But yeah, like I was mentioning, if you want to, if you really want to do alchemy in this game, you're going to be sitting around stealing from enemies and all kinds of crap. It's bull crap, but you know what? I guess that's the price you have to pay. Which, which shouldn't be. Yeah, it shouldn't have to be the case that you gotta spend... Because this game, they have an award. 
Like, which way did I come in from? Ah, crud, I don't know which way I came in. But yeah, I don't know, this game will give you an award. Okay, yeah, so I came in from there. Anyways, this game will give you an award if you play it for like over a thousand hours. I'm like, really? Am I gonna I'm not spending a thousand hours on this game. I don't care how addicting it is and how many... I don't know. Ooh, some snake skin. But yeah, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying not to get too gripey about this game. But I didn't mention it's not my favorite. Alright, those Croctopus guys, you, you can get Magic Beast Horns from them. And you can, and from the Toad guys, you can get Toad Oil. Yay, another mini mail. Wee hee hee hee. And you can get Toad Oil. You can get Toad Oil and Manky Mud from those Toads. Alright, let's keep... Uh, this way. And then, um, if you did have internet capabilities with your DS, you can play with people online, which I hear is really fun, I guess, at the points. And then there's, um, you know, we want this chest. And you can also download extra quests and actually get various, uh, specialized, uh, fancy party member guys. I'm not going to spoil on who they are until maybe near the end of the game, or any of the bonus content, just so I don't ruin the surprise. But I've heard who, who you can get, and it's kind of cool, I guess. Anyways, we come over here now, and we go down these stairs. All while dodging the enemy like Barry Sanders. We go do the old juke. Whoa, 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 damn it. Alright, let's see here. We want to come over here. Alright. Oh, yay. Royal Soil, excellent. Yeah, if you take the time to uh, steal, you know, weapons and armor, that's pretty good. I mean, sure, it might take you a little while longer to get through the area you want to go through. Ooh, a pair of blue jeans, really? Forever in blue jeans, babe. Money walks. But it, uh, yeah, let's put him on him. Why not? But it don't say dancing. It don't. What the hell? All right. Nino is forever in blue jeans. And oh yeah, if you are going to be using, I would uh, suggest when you're healing up, since I told you to purchase all those. Uh, medical herbs to totally use those first you're gonna want to do to the fact that you need to use over you need to use a hundred medical herbs in order to get a uh, alkylade so yeah and then that will automatically get us crap no that will automatically get us uh, no damn it that will automatically get, no, you don't got anything. Will automatically get us an alkylate, which will automatically, when we do a mission a little later, we, it will be much easier. Because we'll just go and then be like, hey, there it is. So this is the beach that Kudlin Cuddy Dig Cliff. And this is the private beach of the mayor. So let's see if I can finish this in a certain time. Yeah, so I was I was playing as a mage for a little while. They're actually not too bad, but their survivability is awful. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, summon Leviathan. Oh, look at that. Oh, so he wants to make money from having Leviathan. Yeah. The mayor just wants money. 
He's a greedy boy. Yeah, and then they won't have to fish anymore. Uh-oh. Your dad's what? Oh, Lord. Oh, God. It's Leviathan. Yeah, ask him to bring some treasure. Whoa. Bryce, bad idea. Whoa, he just swallowed Jonah. Just like Rydia. No! Man, oh man. Now we gotta... Now, what the hell? You people are pansies. Now you're gonna try to be all tough and stuff. Anyways, make sure you're all healed up because we're gonna have to fight the mighty Leviathan. And of course, he's gonna float above the world. This guy's got a little, he's got 1,200 HP and 56, yeah. Alright, so what I like to do is Aegon Nino here, have him psych up. Have, uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. Have her attack and have her... I don't know. Uh, this guy's more of a fish-type enemy. Yeah, let's just get Nino... Nino going here. There we go. Yay! Uh-oh. This is one of his fiercer attacks. Ooh, yes. Finally, I can show a coup de gras with her, but I'm gonna actually wait. You don't have to use the coup de gras right away. Or the coup de grace, whatever they call it. You have a few turns to hold on to it. So I'm gonna wait a little bit more. Because Maytel's is very awesome. It basically heals you up to max HP, so it's very, very, very good. There you go. No, don't do that. Ow. So yeah, I'm gonna wait one more turn to do it. Let's have him use... Propeller Blade, and let's have her attack. Let's have her attack one last time. Aha, nice. I love how it takes away a quarter of... Nice! Ah, oh, I wish... I wish what's it... Ooh, uh-oh. Yeah, sadly, Kenshin is just a cheerleader. Yeah, let's heal up now. Let's show off our coup de gras. Kenshin the cheerleader. He's in professional cheerleading. So yeah, here's what does. Heals allies HP and status effects in one fell swoop. It's very cool. There we go. Da, 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 da. Heal. Yeah, it heals you, you to the max, I think. This is very cool. Uh oh, he's attacking. So, yeah, Tidal Wave is really the only ability you really gotta watch out for. Let's have her attack and her attack. Haha. 100, 100, yay! Boom! No one messes with Nino! Haha, ha, you hurt me none. Aegon, Ira. Propeller Blade. Let's have her psych up. And. yeah, let's. Nah, let's have her attack. I was gonna say, use heal on, uh. What's her name, but that's right. Aha, another. Yes! I like that. This guy is going to be toast. I like that he's just going. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was just going after Ira. Let's use the coup de grace, or gra, whatever. Attack, mid heal, Ira. 
There we go. She gets the killing blow. And Leviathan is defeated. But what will happen to Jonah? She's been eaten alive. We'll have to find out in the next episode. This has been Kenshin 1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.